Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got a little unboxing to do today. I'm hoping it's what I think it is. So we'll have a look together and see what it is. A couple of little diamond painting tooly type things. Okay, so let's get this box open and see what we've got. Oops, more tape, more tape. Down that side there here. Okay, so, ooh, nice little box. And it uh, looks like it's well packaged, all with lots of bubble wrap. Looks like this is my invoice. Just let me have a quick look. So, yeah, it's from the, the Marcy C Shop. So, that's all her details. I wonder if I saw it on an advert or whether I've seen it on TikTok or on uh, Instagram. I'll find out the link and let you know. I'm not quite sure how I uh, came across this. I'm sure it was an advert and I thought, oh, that looks good. I'll uh, give that a go. I think it was probably, it's either going to have been um, YouTube or um, Facebook or Instagram or possibly TikTok. Right, so we have uh, two items that I uh, sent for. Oh, a little goodie bag. Let's have a look in there. That's a nice surprise. Okay. So let's see what we've got in here. Oh, all in nice packaging. So we have uh, the Marcy C Shop. Do one thing a day that makes you happy. Yeah, I agree with that. That's a really good sentiment to say. We have a very green lady there. Does that say mama on it? Oh, mm. thank you for supporting my business. Every order is as special as the first. Oh, that's really nice. And all ah, right, there you are. Look, that's all her links. So we've got the Marcy C shop um, on Facebook, then on shop, on TikTok. And then I don't know what that is. What's M then? I'm not quite sure what that one is. I think it must have been TikTok that I did see this on then. That I saw either herself unboxing or somebody else doing an unboxing on it. Um, and I thought that looks really good. I'm going to give that a go. So, yeah, and she is in the UK as well. So I do like to support uh, UK businesses if I can. So we have, oh, what's this? Oh, a Shockers Tango Cherry Shockers Sour Fizz Tuba. Oh, thank you very much. And then it looks like we've got some little, oops, some stickers. We always like stickers. Oh, what's this? Oh, a little cover minder look or a needle minder. Is that a frog? It's a little tiny frog. Oh, look at his little face. Oh, that's gorgeous. He is so sweet. Let me take him out. We've got a bit of glare there, haven't you? So I think she did sell all sorts of different bits and pieces for diamond painting. Look at that little face. Oh, he's so sweet. Oh, God, I love a frog. We like frogs. Yay! <laughs> and he's tiny. Oh, he's so sweet. No wonder he's in a little bag so we don't lose him. He's definitely going to hop off somewhere if you're not careful. So let's see what we've got. Oh, we've got an axolotl in a jar there. Look, we've got a kapow. And oh, that's a good one. Believe in yourself. Yay. Okay, so some nice stickers there as well. But let's get on to the main event and see what we got. So I'll just put those over there for now. I do like getting little free gifts. It just uh, makes the package a little bit more special, doesn't it? Okay, so yay! It is what I thought it was. Right. So it's a little gadget um, filling up your bottles when you're kitting up. Um, it's slightly different to the other one that I've got. I did think it was maybe the same person because I was gifted one. Oh, look. And she's got her details on the back there as well. But this is like um, an iridescent coated one. It's all two-tone. You know those cars that go past in the one colour and as they go past you, they change colours. This is sort of the same thing. So it's all purple and a hot pink. And I thought, oh, I've got to have that. Uh, it's an A-grade one, so I've got the a proper one. So let me just grab a bottle. And so, yeah, when you kit it up, you just literally put your little bottles in there, pour into there, uh, pour your gems into there, or when you're actually diamond painting and you're pouring from your tray into there, then, uh, yeah, it just stops you from spilling them everywhere. So that's really good, liking that. Uh, the price of that one was... 
four pounds and fifty pence. So the postage and packing is four pound fifty. But then, as I say, I don't mind, you know, when you've got it and it's packed this well. I would sooner have something packed really well so it arrives in uh, good order than have something just put into a bag and it arrives and it's broken or whatever. So I don't mind the postage and packing too much. Um, and as I say, it is a UK company. But yeah, this is lovely. So when I do my next kitting up, we'll have a go at using this one. Um, yeah, really nice. Love the colour. And then... We've got, oh, da, da, da. Ooh, look at this. Right, so this is something that I've not seen before. I've seen similar things. They are obviously 3D printed. And this one is a single placer tray. So when you put your gems in, it's supposed to separate them all out into one gem in one little area. Um, I've got again the two-tone one, so made in the UK, very nice, Marcy C shop on the bottom and she's got a copyright symbol on there as well. Uh, it does have a little uh, slot at the front look there so you can put uh, that in there. Oh, I'm going to have to watch that because I'm really good at losing stoppers from things. That's really well thought out because it's even got um, three little raised bits there, look, so that you can get hold of it easier and uh, just then just pop it back into the little slot there. So, yeah, you can tip your diamonds back out using your little bottle tray. And then you've got a little funnel as well. Oh, that's excellent. Oh, I didn't realise that. Oh, wow. So you have a little funnel which slots into there as well. Does that, yeah, that's the right, yeah, and it's really well fitted. Look at that, there's no gaps, so you're not going to get gems or drills going down the gaps, and then that'll just tip into there, so you don't need a funnel or anything. That's a really good idea. I've never seen anything like this before, really liking this. Uh, and the price of this one is six pounds, so I think for the money, it's amazing. Um, the description of this is a single placer tray with stopper and funnel attachment and it's in the rainbow colours. So you're not quite sure what colour it's going to be. It can come sort of in any colour really, depending on um, as it goes through the printer, I suppose. And then the other item, this is described as a mini pot funnel in pink and purple. So I did choose the colour on this one, but this is the rainbow colours. So we've got like pink and blue and a little bit of lilac -y colour there as well and then as I say you just get included the uh, little funnel which that is a brilliant idea that is just one of those really simple ideas it's really really clever and then your little well it's like a little gate isn't it a little stopper so that while you're using it you don't want all your gems coming out you can just close it up there I'm gonna have to find somewhere safe to put them though as I say because I'm really good at losing things like that Okay, loving that. It's a really nice substantial tray as well. Really solid and it's not going to tip very easily. Look, I'm putting quite a bit of pressure there and it's only just starting to tip and the edges aren't too high either because if you think that's the base and then you've got them in the little things there. So, you know, sometimes when you pick up your gems, uh, if you're diamond painting fast, you can catch them or I tend to catch them on the edge and then they drop back off. So, yeah, let's sit, get those gems back out again. Okay, let's get these gems. I really ought to have a lot of gems, but we'll try it with these for now. This is just a kitting down that I need to do. So let's put those into there and give it a shake. Oh, look at that. And practically all of them are the right way up. That is really good. So if you have trouble separating your gems out, I mean, obviously, if you're a multi-placer person and like to be able to pick up several at once, then it's doubtful that your multi-placer would pick these up because they're not close enough together. But it's also separating outlook there. We've got one of those horrible little bobbly bits that uh, you sometimes get. Uh, these are resin gems. So sometimes you do get like the little off cuts, as it were, and it's just separated it out so you're not going to get that stuck in your pen by mistake heck that's really impressed with that i, I was sort of will it work won't it work obviously i'm going to have to diamond paint with it and see how it goes uh, but yeah 
so they just all jump in um i really need to try it with a few more gems as well but you know they have just literally slotted into there let me see how easy it is to pick out with your pen all right i've just quickly grabbed a pen so ooh. okay so yeah if you were diamond painting that's really good yeah and as i say most of them ha have gone the right way up now this is going to be really useful for me because i really struggle with particularly black gems um actually doing uh, black gems on an evening because if it's too dark i can't see whether the gems are actually the right way up or not so that is going to really help me because it will separate them all out and as i say the majority of them there's just an odd one that isn't the right way up but i think i mean i've just put those back in but i think yeah give them a shake and they do all seem to be going the right way around oh i'm really impressed with this and i think for the price they're amazing so yeah do go and check out the marcy c shop so let's try the little funnel now so we'll take the little slide out there and we'll put that in there okay and we'll put the little bottle in there i like this because there's no gap anywhere at the top and just tip these oops oh now this is an x this is uh, a little bit trickier okay is this user error or is this um these not i wonder if you need to mm. oh so if they're all in there they're all slipping down right oh okay so that's not i wonder how she does that i'll have to look um if you've had one of these trays let me know but i'm going to end up losing half of these i suppose when you're using them you don't end up with many left over i'm just using the brush to try and get them out but they are just all wanting to jump out um like in the funnel uh, i think that is an excellent idea on a plain tray without sort of grids that would be brilliant uh but not liking the fact that these aren't wanting to come out of here i'm suppose i suppose she's maybe thinking that um you will be using them all or unless do you shake it to get them out shake it to get them all down to the bottom yeah you see if you tip it they all just come out which is fair enough but that's not good because i'm good at spilling anyway <laughs> Billy Liz is really good at spilling gems as it is. So, mm, I think this one's going to have to be used to see how we get on with it. I suppose if you tap them, but yeah, they're not coming out. I mean, it's a brilliant idea, but they're not coming out of here very well to kit it down. I might have to have a look on her shop and see if she's got any videos on how she does this. And the little spout has moved slightly as well. So did I not put that in properly? Let me just take that out. Okay, right. Hmm. Now this is why I get these things so that I can try them and see what they're like. This is excellent. This is really, really good. The spout is brilliant. Um, I might have put it the wrong way up actually. Did I put it the wrong way? I think I put it the wrong way up. Yes, I did. It goes the other way up. The little double-sided bit there goes to the top there. So that makes that more flat. So that's my fault. I put that the wrong way up. But uh, yeah, that's that's a little bit interesting as to how the best way to get them out of the tray without them all pouring out. Hmm. I wonder if they maybe made a lid or something to go on it so that when you're pouring out, you just put your lid on and do that because otherwise that's going to be, yeah, make kitting down really, really difficult or when you're using the colour and wanting to put it back in your pot after you've used, you know, your, your colours, it, it, they're all jumping out. So, hmm. Okay, so the jury's out. So, love the tray. Um, love this love for the actual diamond painting bit for having them shaking them and they all go the right way around it's just getting them out of the tray maybe i've just not got the knack i'm not sure um i will maybe have to ask her and see uh, 
how it's supposed to be done. Watch the professionals do it. <laughs> Look, I'm going to be finding these gems all over for ages because they really have just bounced out wherever um, they've shaken to. But uh, yeah, I've got my little brush anyway, just in case. Okay, so good and bad. Um, as I say, if you've had one of these trays, let me know. Um, how do you get your gems out without spilling them? Is it just me? Or do we maybe need to just do something else with it? Uh, but uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Okay, well, as I say, uh, on the whole, I am pleased with it. I will definitely give this tray a try. Um, love the little funnel bit, as I say, and uh, I love this. This is just wonderful. So, yeah, so that's the Marcy Sea Shop. Do go and check her out on her social media and everything. I'll put the link that I use down below as well so that you can see that. But, hmm, a little bit different. I do like to try new things and go hunting and see what there is out there okay well uh if you've enjoyed looking at this with me as always a thumbs up is very much appreciated any comments or questions in the comments down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can and if you want to join our little family and see what we get up to next and see possibly a whip and chat i am hoping to do one with this tray then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up you'll be notified when any of my videos come up so you're not going to miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by. And I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.